they're giving uh, Ukraine some weapons and all that. How can they stop Russia bombing them, even with some weapons? That's right. right. Just a no-fly zone won't hurt anything. No, no Master. Even if it hurts, it already does. It already does hurt the other nations nearby, the NATO members. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. All these cowards just make me sick. I think they should all go away from their position, go home, cuddle their wives, whatever. Because they're not fit to sit there and watch bloodshed in front of them, of the innocents. So sickening, so disgusting to think about. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes Master, I understand. Even if you never wanted to fight with anybody, but if the weak baby, weak child in front of you is being beaten up by a big bully like with the Russian story, similar, then you would try something to protect that child, no? Yes, we would have to. Yeah, that's the basic instinct of human camaraderie. Yes, yes, it is. Yes. Oh, so sickening, so ugly. My God, they all should quit, should go home. Wear the apron to wash dishes for their wives. Goodbye. Talking about their principle is to protect people's security, peace, and uh, whatever, all the good words, all the things that they're supposed to do and should do. But now the NATO countries are not in peace. Of course not. How can you be at peace when your neighbor's house is on fire? That's true. And your neighboring country is attacked by a bigger, much, much more massive and more brutal one than uh, that little country next to yours. Yes, yes. Master. And then now their misfortune also is spilling over to your house, your country. A country is like a house and people live in them together. Like the refugees coming en masse like that, how can they have enough time to, to prepare? Yes, mm -hmm. I understand. And that will influence badly the host country's economy, peace, and organized way of life. Everything will turn upside down too. Yes. 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 yes, That is a kind of war also. That's right. In direct war, you don't have to even go and kill people in order to make war. You are killing them by sending millions of refugees to their country unprepared. Yes, Master. Suddenly, the, the NATO countries now have to accept Ukrainian refugees. Romania, Poland, nearby. Yeah. Yes. The nearby countries, the next door countries. Suddenly, they have to shoulder this responsibility. It's not their fault. No, it's not. They don't deserve all this sudden influx of refugees who come in with all kinds of needs, medical and emotional and mental, all kinds of needs. Yes, Master. Some are wounded, some are sick, some are ill, some are shocked, some are, you know, weak, some are old, so, uh, some pregnant, all kind of things that they have to deal with. This is not fair for the NATO countries nearby. Yes, yes. Master. Not fair. I mean, not just human refugees from Ukraine. There are also pets animal people, refugees, and all kind of trauma that is left over from their memories since they left Ukraine as well. So all the neighboring countries, or NATO countries, are having to deal with all this unrecognized war. It's not just about fighting or bombing. Yes, yes Master. Master. All this uh, trouble, chaos and... Uh, so much inconvenience and suffering the neighboring countries must also share, willingly or not. Yes. So all this can be counted as war, as damage to NATO countries. I don't know what more excuses they want. Do they really wait until Russia bombs the NATO countries in order to call that a war? hope not. No, no. This is the kind of war that broke out already. And I don't know how much more trouble the NATO countries have to bear in order for NATO to truly do something. Even just to block the sky so that Russia doesn't bomb on top of the living children, women, and people. It's the least they could do. Oh, yes. 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 Imagine Russia comes many times bombing on top of them. Where would they go? How do they protect themselves? That's right. right. I don't care.
care what NATO say. They don't have a spy. They don't have courage. The leader of NATO, they have nothing, nothing worthy of their position. They should be ashamed of themselves. Go home, wear the skirt. If they don't have one, borrow it from their wives or girlfriend or their mother. At least to show some shame. Letting people die in front of you and making all kinds of stupid, lame excuses. God is watching you, having the writing or your misdeeds. Wait until you face your maker and then you will know what I'm saying. Oh, they should just leave, go, go in shame. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Peace comes in many forms, from many so-called sources. War also comes in many forms and many sources. It doesn't have to be a bomb. It doesn't have to be bullets or, you know, outright killing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, can you imagine, huh? Even pets also go there when they're for refuge. Oh. Wow. Yeah, of course, they took their pets with them. Some have to. Yes, some take yes. to. Okay? Yes. Or some maybe just run over the border. Who knows? <laughs> pets don't have passports. Nobody stops them. Yes. yes. If it's bombing, it's terrifying for dogs or cat people or bird people or all kind of pets. They're very scared. Even just fireworks, you know, scare them. Yes. Oh, yes. Many of them are traumatized. So many cities, they even burn fireworks. They burn them so that the pets don't get traumatized. Yes, Master. Yeah, and sometimes they even die from it. Yes. yes. From mental stress. So there's also war already spilling over to the neighboring uh, NATO countries. I don't know how they will deny this or how they will explain it. I understand. Unless they're just outright cowards. Yes, yes Master. Master. You don't have to have any excuse to take away the insane person. Even a man or woman is insane for some reason and then destroys the house and beats up the families and causes trouble also for the neighborhood. Then he belongs to the loony asylum. Yes. There's no need to sit there and reason with him. If he's wielding a knife at you, then you have to find a way to control it. You can't just uh, worry about being afraid of the knife and don't do anything. If the man is insane and harming people already, there's no need to reason or to have any excuse to bring him down. I understand. Meaning to capture him, bring him somewhere that he belongs so that he can be healed or, you know, improved. Until he's safe for others, he cannot be released. There's no, no need to sit there and reason or be afraid of him. If you have a big neighborhood and come together, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. can't be afraid of one man when you are many. I don't understand the logic of their reasoning. Yes, right. yes, yes. You can't talk law or respect or order to a crazy person. That's right. Because he doesn't respond the way you do. So you just have to deal with it according to the situation. Not always with bureaucracy and... and Protocols. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yeah, otherwise the whole world is crazy. Listening to one man, one loony man. Yes. yes. I understand. So in this situation, everyone should see clearly that Putin is crazy. Because no normal, sane leader would do what he has done to Ukraine. That's right. So for a crazy man, you have to have a different method of dealing with him. You can't just reason talk logically or talk about law and order with him. Yes, yes Master. Master. The world has to give a message somehow to the Russian population. Tell them to denounce Putin. He is not your worthy leader. And all the Russian army do not listen to Putin. Do not waste your beautiful youth to fight in this cruel and senseless war. What for do you have to sacrifice your lives? For something that is low, 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 way low beneath your dignity and idealism and nobility. You must quit the war. You go with the Ukraine government. They don't harm you. You know it all by now. They would not do anything to you if you just surrender. Do not continue to listen to Putin and commit war crimes and a crime against heaven's law as well. You're all good people. You're very young and beautiful. 
and you have the idea to protect your country, but this is not the cause. This is an evil and wicked war that you're fighting. A normal leader would never order his soldiers to bomb, to attack civilians during none of the wars, even serious wars, world wars. Leaders in order soldiers to do that. So, you Russian noble soldiers and army leaders, please. Putin is crazy. Do not sacrifice your precious life because you're a crazy man. Do not sacrifice Ukrainian neighbors, good people, peace loving people. Just because of a crazy men. Because you will also have to answer to God. If you do the same, if you obey Him, listen to Him, and kill innocent people, or kill yourself. You have to denounce Putin and do not fight anymore with the Ukrainian people. They're your neighbors. They're good neighbors. They didn't do anything wrong to you and your country. Please, please, you must know God is watching, heaven is watching. What you're doing is wrong. You are not wrong, but your leader, so-called leader, Putin is wrong. If a leader is wrong, you don't have to listen to him because both of you will be wrong and he will drag you to hell together with him. So please stop. Stop the war now, immediately, to save your own life, to save Russians' honor, and to save Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, and save the world from all the unnecessary suffering through war in different ways. Thank you very much. И мы не хотим, чтобы на нашей совести лежало это пятно. Нет войны! Нет! Нет! Нет войны! Нет войны! Ну и что, в общем-то, сейчас ну, у каждого есть обязанность не молчать о происходящем. Все должны высказываться против. Вступление вообще против России, против Украины. Я считаю, что эта война, она убивает и Россию, и Украину. Я возмущена. Нет войны! Нет войны! Ну, надо прекратить. Это, это, этого нельзя. Это, это безумие, то, что сейчас происходит. Мы должны все вместе кричать «нет войны», все выходить на улицы. Потому, потому что по-другому нельзя. По-другому мы, мы Россию потеряем. Не только Украину, мы Россию потеряем. Мы любим Россию тоже. Мы любим русские люди. Это просто Путин, что весь мир против сейчас. Прошу Богу, чтобы защитить вас. Пожалуйста. Do not fight anymore. Your life is precious. Your wife, your kids, your parents, your mother, your friends are waiting for you at home. Just quit the war and then you might be home soon. Pray to God. Pray to God. Pray to God. All right, love. Wish you well, okay? Thank you, Thank Master. You, Master. We wish you well, too. Maybe next time. Next time, okay? Okay, Master.